Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an auto idle up for your models so that you don't have to worry about doing an idle up while you're flying. This is a really simple configuration I came up with based on some advice by people who fly big airplanes with big motors. And I also understand that if you're flying an internal combustion motor, that you might like this configuration as well. As I don't fly IC motors, I can't really speak to it, but I'll show you what I did for an electric motor and why I did it. The idea is that when you're out flying around and if you do a maneuver on a big motor, I'm talking like a 40cc electric motor, when you do a maneuver and if you come completely off the throttle and then at, at a moment in time you punch it, sometimes you can have an ESC desync. And one of the time tested methods to resolve this issue is by using a little bit of an idle up. And the idea behind an idle up is it keeps that motor spinning while you're flying. It never quite comes back to zero. First, I'll show you how it works and then I'll show you how I did it. But first for you electronics gurus and tinkerers out there, check out PCBWay.com. PCBWay has a full suite of services available to make your ideas a reality, including PCB manufacturing and assembly, CNC machining, 3D printing, and injection molding. When you're ready to order, PCB Way provides instant quotes, real-time production tracking, and you can order as few as five boards at a time, which is great for early stage projects. If you need an experienced partner to help bring your ideas to life, check out PCBWay.com. I have a link in the description if you'd like to give them a look. The idea is really simple. As you can see, when my throttle is locked as it is right now, and I move my throttle stick, I sweep from negative 100 all the way to positive 100 and then back down again to negative 100. Nothing fancy happens, that's the way it's supposed to work. Now for the auto idle up. What I'll do is hit the SH switch, which on my radio arms the plane. So now it's armed. And I'm gonna move the stick just to about the halfway point, And I'm gonna ask you to watch what happens to the trim. You see how it automatically starts climbing up just a few points there? The idea that now is that I've trimmed up or idled up so I no longer idle at zero. And if I bring my stick all the way down to the bottom, you can see that it only goes down to negative 81%. It doesn't go back down to negative 100. That's the idle up. So I've bumped the throttle up with trim just a little bit. And the idea is it keeps that motor spinning while I'm flying. Now to make it go back to zero, all I have to do is disarm the plane. So if I disarm the model, we drop back down to negative 100. All right, let me show you how I did it. The first thing we'll do is create a logical switch, L01. Logical one simply says when my throttle goes above negative 95, that's an interesting state to me. And I also end that with my throttle lock. So in my case, my throttle lock is SH away or SH up. And what that means is any time that my throttle is unlocked and I go above negative 95, which is just off the floor, that's the moment that I want to start activating this logic. The next thing we do is create another logical switch, and I called mine L02. And in L02, we just simply create a sticky. V1 of the sticky is L01, and V2 is the lock switch. So when I lock the throttle, that's the other aspect of the sticky switch. And remember, what a sticky switch is, just like a light switch on your wall, the first condition turns the switch on, and the only thing that can turn it off is the other condition. In my case, the other condition is SH down. You might say, John, why are we doing that? Why are we being that fancy about it? And the reason is because we don't want the throttle idle to change until we disarm you don't in other words you don't want the throttle interesting condition to go off just because we bring the stick down to zero right that defeats the whole purpose we're trying to keep that idle up when we bring that throttle down to zero that's the whole point okay so that's it for the logic very simple the next thing we do is go into flight modes and under flight modes you'll see that i have flight mode zero and flight mode one in flight mode zero I have a value of negative 128 for the throttle. I will explain that in just a minute. Bear with me on that one. We'll get to that. And that's the only change. On flight mode number one, I named that one idle up. And you can see that is activated with L02. And I have a fade of five seconds. So five seconds. And what that does is it slowly adds that trim in. Now you could easily do this with a simple switch. I've tried it and I don't like it. Let me explain why. If you just use a switch and apply that trim, it's like taking your throttle from an off condition to negative 80 instantaneously and it thunks the motor. It's like punching the motor with a jolt of current. And I simply didn't like that. 
I did it this way because I want to use the fade in feature of the flight modes. So by using a fade in of five seconds, that throttle gradually comes up. You don't even notice it while you're flying. I've flown with this several times now. You don't even know that it's happening. The only way you know that it's happening is when you bring your throttle back down to zero, your props doesn't stop spinning. It keeps going. Okay. So the next part is we need to create a standalone trim for throttle to be paired with flight mode one. So on my throttle, I use equal one. And what that means is the throttle trim is based on being in flight mode one. And you can see I'm at negative 32, not negative 128. So the difference is when we activate this mode, I'm gonna put on my channel monitor now. So we'll hit model. So I'm gonna arm the model and we'll bring the throttle stick up a little bit and you'll see it start to climb all by itself. That's the five second fade. It's just a very gradual application of throttle. Okay, the last thing that we have to do in order to make this work is to use throttle idle trim only. So we do that by going into the model settings and then scrolling down to throttle and enabling the trim idle only. And the reason we do that is because we're not trying to trim the top end, we're only trying to trim the bottom end. Okay, that's what this does. It allows you just to trim your idle only when you use that trim switch. The last thing to do is set it up for your specific model. It's real easy to do that. Just set up the logic the way I showed you, set up the flight modes the way I showed you, uh, set your trim at negative 128 for your flight mode zero, which is all the way down at the bottom. Then simply arm the plane and then bring your trim up until that motor just starts to spin and settles where you want it. Once you have that sorted, that's it. That becomes your new trim for flight mode one, which is what you get when you're in your idle up. And of course, the sticky switch is disabled. So L02 goes off when I lock the throttle. So when I lock the throttle, we go back to flight mode zero and my trim is reset all the way down to negative 128. That's it, an automatic idle up feature for your big electric motors and IC planes if you care to use it. I wanna say thanks to Rob for giving me the idea to use the fade in timer on the flight modes on Edge TX. And I'll remind you, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and smash that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Get out there and fly something.